guys, you are six, and I appreciate you guys watching. So I got the EAA Windicator 357 Magnum. I really like this revolver. Very budget friendly, about two hundred and sixty nine dollars. But again, you're not gonna find the quality of a, of a Smith and Weston out there. I mean, two hundred and sixty nine dollars is gonna be some things that uh, uh, you're not gonna like. And specifically, this one is pretty heavy. But again, guys, <laughs> I could deal with that. I mean, it's heavy enough that if I run out of bullets, I could use it as a weapon. But the good thing about revolvers is that you could stash them somewhere in the house. You don't have to worry about the magazines. You don't have to worry about anything. So you can put some rounds in here. You can put it in the house someplace. If you need something, if you ever if you ever find yourself in some type of situation, home invasion, you know you have a gun there. Uh, the same thing for a lot of guys uh, as truck guns. You know, you can put it in the truck. You don't have to worry about that. But again, that's going to be up to you. That's going to be uh, up to what you like to do with revolvers. But the biggest issue with this one is that you're not going to find any any accessories out there. The fact that it's so so budget friendly and so uncommon, I guess, not a lot of people have them, it, it's going to it's going to affect uh, the accessories that you can find and specifically holsters. So, again guys, I have uh, I got this holster up here that we're going to talk about, but I have heard that the K frame Smith and Western holsters work in this revolver. Not really sure about that. You got to do some research. But with that being said, guys, let's take a look at this uh, this holster. Let me tell you some things that I like, some things that I don't like. So let's get started. All right, guys. So here it is, and I got to tell you guys, I went with this choice mainly because like I said there's not too many accessories for this revolver now if you're wondering for speed loaders you could get a H HKS or HKS there we go number 10 it will fit just right works really well three uh, six rounds of 357 Magnum or you know 38 special however you want but again guys very simple holster all leather construction it is double stitch as you can tell up here double stitch in the back with, uh, with this handle right here, double stitch. So that's really nice, very inexpensive. I wanna say anything from 20 to $25. Very easy to work. All you have to do is put your belt through here, through this section, get it out through here, then you know put it to this section right here, and, and that's about it. Now guys, I have heard guys using this holster, you know, strong side, in this case, I'm right-handed, so strong side like this. I have also heard guys using it on the weak side, now like this. And what they got to do is that they kind of have to do that cross, that cross uh, uh, draw. I wouldn't recommend you to do that. I don't know why people do that. But again, if that's something that you like, definitely go for it. I would recommend you to carry in your strong side uh, better than your weak side. But again, that is a choice if you like doing that. You could carry either strong side or weak side. I haven't done it this way, so I cannot speak about that uh, here in the channel. But again, guys, retention is okay. So it does retain pretty well. Now, keep in mind your belt is going to go through here. So there's not going to go through this side. So you do have to have a, a good retention. So the retention is okay. And it works fine, guys. I would not recommend you to to use this uh, holster as a as an everyday carry, guys. I don't. Me personally, I don't like it. I'm sure it could work. I'm sure if you if you guys like that, I, I'm sure it could work. But me personally, I don't like this holster as my everyday carry. Uh, I just don't dig this setup. I dig more something like this. You know, I got a Glock 19 here with a holster Kai did. But again. I have carried in the past. Doesn't mean you're right or you doesn't mean you're wrong. Some people may like this. I just don't dig this this uh, holster as an everyday carry. I do like the revolver, and I don't have any issues carrying a revolver. But I don't I don't really dig this holster as an everyday carry, and mainly because it's kind of bulky, guys. Uh, so if you are going to carry this. Will have to be kind of like in the winter, so you could wear some type of jacket over. I mean, we're talking about concealed carry. Uh, if you open carry, then it's different. Yeah, you could easily open carry this this uh, this revolver with this holster. But as a CCW, it is kind of bulky, so you cannot just wear a t-shirt over this. Uh, in my body type, it's not going to look right unless you're wearing some type of jacket. Uh, jacket. So I don't like it for that. I do like it for going camping, going hiking and something like that. You know, you, again, where you're going to open carry and you're just going to go for a hike. I think it's going to work. Now, the biggest thing that you got to remember, guys, when it comes to this particular setup, this holster and this revolver, is that this revolver, it is 
heavy. It's pretty heavy, so you do need to have a good belt because if you have a crappy belt, guys, it's gonna your pants are gonna sag and your revolver is gonna sag, and it's just not gonna be a good setup. So if you're planning to use this belt, uh, this revolver that is kind of heavy with this holster, I would definitely recommend you to get a really good belt. All right, guys. So overall, not a bad holster, very well priced. You know, like I said, twenty to twenty-five bucks. Uh, just do a quick search in Google. You're gonna find a bunch of links. I like it. But I don't like it for concealed carry, you know, like in the summer. Like if I'm going to wear uh, a t-shirt, um, I, I can't carry this. It's going to print way, way too much. But if you're planning to wear a jacket over, it's going to work fine. If you're planning to open carry, it is going to work. Just keep in mind that it's kind of bulky. But again, guys, I think it's going to work for the price. You can't go wrong with that. Uh, I like it, so I would definitely recommend it. But mainly, guys, keep in mind that it's not too many choices for this revolver. So we kind of stuck with uh, with a few choices out there. Again, if you know any choices for the EAA Windicator that have worked for you, definitely put it down in the comments. All right, guys, if you guys like videos like this, make sure you click like. I always appreciate when you subscribe to the channel, share my videos, and as always, guys, God is in control.